Chapter Six of the World That Couldn't Be by Clifford D. Cimac. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Six. They halted on a knoll. Before them lay the farm, with the Vua rose straight and green in the red soil of the fields. You can make it from here, the Scythe said. I am wearing thin. It is an awful effort to keep on being smart. I want to go back to ignorance and comfort. It was nice knowing you, Duncan told it politely, and thanks for sticking with me. He started down the hill, leaning heavily on the rifle crutch. Then he frowned troubledly and turned back. Look, he said, you'll go back to animal again, then you will forget. One of these days you'll see all that nice tender voo and— Very simple, said the Scytha. If you find me in the voo just begin hunting me. When you have to be, I will quickly get smart and remember once again, and it will be all right. Sure, agreed Duncan. I guess that will work. The Scytha watched him go stumping down the hill. Admirable, it thought. Next time I have a brood, I think I'll raise a dozen like him. It turned around and headed for the deeper brush. It felt intelligence slipping from it, felt the old, uncaring comfort coming back again. But it glowed with anticipation, seethed with happiness at the big surprise it had in store for its new-found friend. Won't he be happy and surprised when I drop them at his door, it thought. Will he be ever pleased? End of chapter 6 End of The World That Couldn't Be by Clifford D. Cimac Read by Phil Chenevere in Baton Rouge, Louisiana in October of 2013